Today, we will talk about barriers to entry, understanding what limits competition. Barriers to entry refer to factors that can prevent or impede newcomers from entering a market or industry sector, thus limiting competition. These barriers can include high startup costs, regulatory hurdles, or other obstacles that make it difficult for new competitors to enter a business sector. Existing firms benefit from barriers to entry because they protect their market share and ability to generate revenues and profits. Some barriers to entry are the result of government intervention, while others naturally occur within a free market. Companies often lobby the government to create new barriers to entry in order to protect their industry and limit competition. Firms favor barriers to entry to maintain their market share and limit competition. Barriers to entry can also form naturally within an industry over time, as certain players establish dominance. They are often classified as primary barriers, which act alone, or ancillary barriers, which reinforce other barriers. Industries heavily regulated by the government, such as commercial airlines, defense contractors, and cable companies, are usually the most difficult to penetrate. The government creates formidable barriers to entry for various reasons. Sometimes these barriers are imposed due to lobbying pressure from existing firms, unnecessarily limiting competition and stifling entrepreneurship. Barriers to entry can also form naturally as certain brands establish strong identity and customer loyalty. High consumer switching costs also serve as barriers to entry, making it difficult for new entrants to entice customers to switch. These natural barriers can make it challenging for new competitors to enter certain industries. Different industry sectors have their own specific barriers to entry, including the pharmaceutical, electronics, oil and gas, and financial services industries. These barriers can include high resource ownership, high startup costs, and regulatory barriers that make it difficult for new firms to enter and compete in these industries. Companies deploy various strategies to overcome barriers to entry, such as seeking different markets to work with, developing a minimum viable product for market research, acquiring an existing company in the market, using a disruptive pricing model, and cutting costs through the use of open-source software or short-term leases. The most common barriers to entry include high startup costs, regulatory hurdles, special tax benefits to existing firms, patent protections, strong brand identity, customer loyalty, and high customer switching costs. Governments create barriers to entry for various reasons, including protecting public safety, managing the inherent scarcity of public resources, and implementing barriers to protect favored industries, sometimes due to lobbying pressure from existing firms. Natural barriers to entry can arise from strong brand identity, customer loyalty, and high consumer switching costs, all of which make it difficult for new competitors to enter certain industries. Industries requiring heavy regulation and substantial initial investments, such as telecommunications, transport, casinos, pharmaceutical, electronics, oil and gas, and financial services, often have the highest barriers to entry. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Barriers to entry describe the high startup costs or other obstacles that prevent new competitors from easily entering an industry or area of business. 2. Barriers to entry benefit incumbent firms because they protect their revenues and profits and prevent others from stealing market share. 3. Barriers to entry may be caused naturally, by government intervention, or through pressure from existing firms. 4. Each industry has its own specific set of barriers to entry that startups must contend with. 5. Barriers to entry may be financial, regulatory, or operational. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.